Japan's Toshiba Corporation, one of the companies that built the nuclear reactors at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, says it'll take at least 10 years to decommission the reactors. Toshiba has drafted a plan with four U.S. companies in the nuclear power industry. It was involved in the construction of the number two and three reactors at the plant. Toshiba President Nori Yosasaki said on Thursday that it had submitted a proposal to Tokyo Electric Power Company and the Industry Ministry. Prime Minister Naoto Kan had earlier asked the company to come up with an action plan to end the nuclear crisis. The draft plan is divided into three phases. The first stage involves the stabilization of fuel rods in the reactors and spent fuels in pools by pumping in water, while keeping the contamination in the water under certain levels. Toshiba says this phase will take several months. In the second phase, it aims to safely remove the nuclear fuel rods from the pools and pressure vessels using special cranes to be set up near the reactor buildings. The company says this work will last five years. The final phase will take another five years. This would involve dismantling the reactors and clearing, clearing the land. Radioactive substances released in the process would have to be removed during this process. Tokyo Electric Power Company says radiation levels in seawater near the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are on the decline but remain high. TEPCO says it detected 100 becquerels of iodine-131 per cubic centimeter in samples collected near the water intake of the number two reactor on Tuesday afternoon. That represents 2,500 times the legal limit. The density was down from 7.5 million times the limit found in the same area on April 2nd. The decline in radioactivity levels comes after the firm stopped highly radioactive water from leaking through a pit outside the reactor on April 6th. The company released 1,320 tons of relatively low radioactive water into the ocean near the outlets of the number 5 and number 6 reactors for the six days through April 9th. The company discovered 1.7 becquerels of iodine-131 per cubic centimeter in seawater samples taken from a zone about 30 meters north of the outlets on Tuesday afternoon. That amounts to 43 times the legal limit. The firm also found 1.1 becquerels of the radioactive element in seawater samples collected near a beach 16 kilometers south of the plant on Tuesday morning. That represents 28 times the legal limit. Radiation levels at the same spot have remained almost the same since April 5th. The World Health Organization says there's no need for new public health measures following the Fukushima nuclear accident, but it says it could take 20 years to assess the full health impact. WHO Director of Public Health and the Environment, Maria Nerda, held a news conference on Wednesday after Japan's government raised the severity level of the accident to a maximum seven on the international scale. She said that public health measures taken by Japan, including enforcing an evacuation zone around the stricken plant and relocating residents, are appropriate. Of course, even if radiation was in the food that is exported, you will need to be uh, exposed to a very cumulative dose. You know, you need to eat maybe that product for, for a long time. But Neda also said the situation needs to be reassessed almost on an hourly basis because it's not yet under control. She said studies will have to be conducted over the next 10 to 20 years to monitor public health issues.
Japan's health ministry says radioactivity above the legal limit has been detected in fish caught off Fukushima prefecture and on 11 kinds of vegetables grown in the prefecture. The ministry says it found 12,500 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium in small fish called sand lances caught off Iwaki City south of the prefecture, or rather south of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on Wednesday. That's 25 times above the legal limit. The ministry also discovered 12,000 becquerels, or six times the limit of radioactive iodine in the sample fish. Earlier in the month, Sand lances caught off neighboring Ibaraki Prefecture were also found to be irradiated. The government says the fish is not on the market as fishing cooperatives in the two prefectures are out of action. On Monday, radioactivity was also detected on 11 kinds of vegetables sampled in Fukushima, including Japanese parsley, or seri, grown in Soma City. The Japanese government is going to begin certifying the safety of shipping containers at some of the country's major ports to prevent concerns over the Fukushima nuclear accident from hurting exports. The Transport Ministry's website has messages in English, Chinese and Korean that say radiation levels around Tokyo Bay, including Tokyo and Yokohama ports, are safe. Last month, China barred a Japanese ship from unloading containers at one of its ports after high levels of radiation were detected on the freight. More than 10 foreign vessels have cancelled making port calls at Tokyo Bay. To stop the situation from worsening, the ministry has decided to gauge radiation levels on containers set to be exported from some of the country's major ports, including Tokyo, and then issue safety certificates. The ministry plans to create guidelines on how to assess radiation amounts and will start issuing certificates by the end of the month. A government panel of advisors has been established to develop a disaster recovery program. A new tax is being considered in order to fund reconstruction efforts in areas devastated by the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. Fourteen members, including governors from the affected regions, took part in the inaugural meeting on Thursday, which opened with a silent prayer for the disaster victims. Chairperson Makoto Iokibe told reporters that he proposed a new disaster recovery tax during the meeting. The cost for reconstruction would far exceed that for the 1995 Hanshin earthquake. It cannot be procured only through donations and public loans. The entire Japanese public must shoulder the burden. Iokibe added that specifics will be worked out in the panel's discussions in conjunction with a special subcommittee dealing with the issues of, or the issue of resources.